swing again, but this time it was the swing of the bat from Devon Conway, which has got the party started. The first ball up of the day. You want to give the ball a chance to move, but that is Devon Conway's strength. Having bowled at him in the test matches against New Zealand. First breakthrough. Luke Wood delighted. Cannings into James Vincent's packed and then onto Lex Dunn, who run, runs off to his teammates in pure delight, punching the air. Wider and slashed away. Alex Davis is not missing about first ball and a boundary. Easy game. Yeah, Luke Wood got some great swing in towards James Vince, who's probably just got a little bit greedy there, expecting it to do too much. Trent Bridges and really want to bowl, but the ball. Oh, just drifted. And it's going to be four. The runs are flowing. At first, the plan was to bowl him in a back to back block with the hope. It's a really good first five, but then you go back to back boundaries at the start of the next. I think the gamble is worth it if Luke Wood and the Rockets get one more wicket. That is nicely played on the leg and just eased it through the leg side, kept his shape. Whacking the ball over the boundary and slogging it and smashing it, but we've seen four boundaries so far and all of them have been classical cricket shots, two wonderful drives through the offside and then a clip through mid-wicket all the way along the... What a shot, what a shot. That is high class from Devon Conway. Great stroke play out here today. Sam Patel round the wicket to the left-hander. Just offering a slight bit of width. Looking the same, and this time he got it. Not a huge amount of pace on that delivery, 78 miles an hour, but he waited and then delivered. Saw him get into that crouch position where it's going to try and flick it over Tom Moore's the wicket keeper's head. So he dropped his pace and dropped his length. But Davies was skillful enough to put pace on the ball moving around the crease and eased it through that offside. Davis is flying. As if Davis predicted, it, gave himself a little bit of room, opening up the offside. Again, we see that ball hit straight into the ground. It gathered, gathers pace off the square. The final ball of the five, but this time it's the wicket, miscued outside edge from Davies, and the second wicket for the Trent Rockets. Davies there, finding the boundary at ease, but tried one too many, and just sliced it to Malali, the extra cover. Something off his grip. Through the keeper, we said before the game, how is Tom Moore's going to go against Rashid Khan? Not how is Rashid Khan going to go, but Moore's is probably never kept to him before. Watch the hand if he can, but really be in a good position, not overreact. Dom, straight to extra cover. Rollins has slapped Delanga's first ball, and he's gone. Slap straight to extra cover. Rollins, Gregory the skipper there, took the catch. And that flies away as well. Just pace, just opens up areas. It's not everything, pace. Well gone, ball behind his pads. He went too far across and the tactics worked. And giving the strike to Conway, maybe. Walked too far across. Really good planning and execution by the Rockets. Great control. Now, is that carried? Yeah, it has carried. Marcin Belang is having a day out. Two wickets in his two sets of five. A big smile on the big man's face. Mixed his length. But he's got consistently quick. And such a fantastic catch from Tom Moores diving forward. It's been easy for this not to carry. Each form takes a low catch. Devin Conway is the man who has to go. First fumble that we've seen from the Trent Rockets so far, and it's cost them four runs. Yeah! Oh, and he's got him, got him with a wicket. Very clever bowling. This has been outstanding stuff from Trent Rockets. To the onside, 
It's part of the ball going away from the back. I want to say spun away, but it's probably more just angled away. He can bowl nine of them now. Left side. Flipped away for six runs. Beautiful shot. That was right out of the meat of Whiteley's bat. She can't just over pitch the googly, I think it was. But again to spin onto the short side of Trent Bridge towards the new stand. Great footage from Stump Camp. Leg side, he likes it there, doesn't he? He likes it, Cow Corner. That's two in that direction. Look at this 86 miles an hour. But he'd set himself to open up that chest and get through the leg side. Strike a big ball. They're going to need. As much of this as possible. See from that graphic that uh, Rashid Khan is the fastest of the spinners, and that's been belted back past him. Cut it! Hard. Straight back past the bowler. Four more. Ruth can do nothing at long off. Chipped over mid on, and that'll go away for four. in his crease and that sounded good can mid on get there no tipped over the bar joe root with the effort but it's six of that block that he was offered some length didn't want to miss out just sort of stood swiveled got a good connection joe root tried that modern day style on the boundary hit hard right in front of the pod straight to the man did not have to move. I feel like a, at least a reasonable score. It's going to be around the 130, 140 mark. Oh, you beauty marching the Langer. Pfeiffer, the first Pfeiffer in 100 ball cricket. Set the tournament away. Pace, control. And the first five wicket haul of the 100 competition. Outstanding. That's well played. That was right on the money as well. That might squirt away for four. It does. What a shot from Danny Briggs. Well played. Last ball. Swung away leg side. Darcy Short's there. It shouldn't be two. It won't be two. It's an innings that's been dominated by ball. And it's been dominated by that man, Marchand de Lange. Right, something different. Let's head over the other side of the ground. Ebbs, Jax, where are you? OK, well, we are here in the stage, OK? Jake Bug is just about to start. Entertainment's been a massive part of this. Becky Hill, Jack Garrett, now Jake Bug. Ebsy, how are you finding the live entertainment? We've got a live gig right here. I know, I, we can just about hear you, but I have to say I'm a huge music fan. And, you know, this is an addition, right? I know that everyone loves the sport, but to have there's something like this in the middle between the two, I think it keeps the families engaged. And I know that I've been dancing and you have too. What a comeback after a beamer. The next one after that legitimate delivery is perfect. Would be out of the attack. Yeah! But follows it up with a perfect. Normally do. Then swing. Swung straight out in the middle of Milan's back. Four. Again, Sri Lanka, the ball swung for the entire game. But this one did swing. But way too full and an easy put away for a batter of the calibre of David Milan. Nice drive, cover drive. Milan at his best, that's two he's put away. Side to run Darton. And that left very, very easy for Milan to put away. Oh, now he was ducking and then he played the scoop. Did he just leave his bat there? A heck of a shot if that was intentional. He definitely ducked, definitely, and then at the last second, yeah, I think at the last millisecond. Up and over the offside. It opens up both sides off the wicket for runs to be scored in Milan. Going really hard at it. A sigh of relief from both batters, I think. The delivery is gone from 93 mile an hour. Fantastic shot. What a 
few more now. That squirted away. Pass point away for four runs. Beautiful shot. It sounded so sweet off the bat to Dow Milan. On the same ground. One after the other as a ball is dropped short by Garden. The pitch is flat, Ebony, and it's been treated with disdain. Nicely for him. Saw it early. Uh, that timing in front of square. So good. He's such a good cricketer, isn't he? he... Another beautiful shot. Pitch shot. What a shot, pitched up, and just an easy, almost lazy extension of the bat on the front foot, hit over extra cover, what quality. Rock shot, and what a shot again. One on the front foot, and now on the back foot, carved behind point. And what a shot. Just consummate skill, front foot, Back foot behind point and now it's uppercut. Every single ball has gone to the boundary. That is the shorter side of Trent Bridge, but didn't matter. Straight into the stands. Deliberately gone up. Deliberately looking for six. And he gets it. And that's a bottom edge. Well balled, really full in the block hole from a spin-up. But that's a shot. Good enough to jam his bat down on it. Pace. Ah, crack through the offside. Just rock back. The ball just short of a length. Express pace again from Tamar Mills. Yeah, he does. That'll be scores level. And that will be 50 for Darcy Shaw. 50 in just 40 deliveries. Opens a face, he hits it out to the sweeper, and that will do nicely. The home win for the Trent Rockets. That's three and three now in the men. Three home wins, the Oval Invincibles, then the Birmingham Phoenix yesterday.